Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at the Sonoff Zigbee Smart Water Valve or SWV as it's known. This will potentially solve all your smart irrigation issues you have in the garden. This takes the previous smart water valves from companies like Beehive, video in the pop-up above, that we reviewed last year and removes the need for the proprietary communication to Wi-Fi Bridge. We'll take you through the pairing process for Zigbee via ZHA or Zigbee to MQTT and through a Sonoff bridge if you already have one. Although one of these options is not recommended, more on that later. Then we'll run you through the features offered by the EWI Link application that you can integrate locally into Home Assistant if you're using the Sonoff bridge option. And finally, we give you a recommendation as to if you should pick up the SWV and if so, who it's aimed at. So let's get into this and find out if your plants and grass are going to be thanking you. There's not much to the installation of the SWV, as it simply inserts between your existing 3 quarter inch hose adapter and your irrigation system. As such, you get the SWV and a roll of plumber's tape to make the seals watertight, plus the usual manuals. The device itself is sturdy and built of UV resistant ABS plastic that is IP55 water rated, so it's built to last. The measurements are 5.98 inches tall, 3.93 inches deep and 1.8 inches wide and is the usual form factor for these types of devices. With the inlet at the top that has an integrated protective mesh gauze to stop foreign objects entering into the valve mechanism and an outlet at the bottom. Both inlet and outlet are 3 quarter inch, although the thread can vary dependent upon your region, so make sure you buy. The battery compartment is located at the bottom of the unit and takes four AA cell batteries that is protected by a rubber seal to prevent water ingress and keep your batteries dry. The unit is designed to work at temperatures between 5 and 60 degrees C, with water temperatures between 5 and 40 degrees C. And more importantly, the water pressure can be between 9 psi and 116 psi, with the normal domestic water pressure is around 60 psi, so a good range to allow for most domestic water services. First and foremost, one huge advantage of this device is that it's Zigbee 3.0, based on an EFR 32MG22 chipset. So you'll know you're getting quality electronics and communication protocols, so your range and stability of connection are going to be very good. By using this very efficient chipset allows the device to achieve 20 months of use based on two cycles per day, minimizing the need to keep changing those batteries, which are for readily available and cheap AA battery cells. If used in conjunction with the EWI Link application, you get various other benefits, Firstly, the device can turn on at a specified time and duration. But also, since the device has a flow meter, it can simply deliver a specified amount of water, a very handy function if you have water pressure that varies or plants that require specific quantities of water. And to track all this information, the EWILINK service store all this information for 180 days, so you can see how much you've watered your plants and when. There are three ways of connecting the SWV to your home assistant, either through ZHA or Zigbee to MQTT, or through the EWI Link application, and then integrating with Home Assistant. We'll walk you through all three, starting with the EWI Link application. Now, a word of warning here you'll need a Sonoff bridge to allow the EWI Link to communicate with the SWV. So if you don't have one of these, then you'll need to communicate with the Zigbee protocol such as ZHA or Zigbee to MQTT. But there is an issue there that we'll cover later in the video. Another thing to look out for is that the SWV was only recently added to the Sonoff lineup. So you'll need to make sure that your Sonoff hub is running the latest firmware. If not, you'll simply get an on off switch displayed with no flow meter capabilities instead of the full functionality associated with the flow meter. Pairing is very simple. Open the EWI Link application. Press the plus icon in the top right hand corner. Select Scan. Now scan the QR code on the side of the SWV. You'll be dropped into a connection instruction set of screens. Press Add Device. If you have not already done so, remove the battery compartment by pressing together the orange clips on the side and remove. Press Next. 
insert four AA batteries and insert into the SWV battery compartment. Press next. Power on the device by short pressing the button on the front of the SWV. Press next. Now to place the device into pairing mode, long press the button on the front of the device for five seconds or until the green LED around the button flashes. Press next. The LED around the button will flash for 180 seconds while in pairing mode. Now press yes to confirm that the LED is flashing. Now select your Sonoff bridge, in my case a ZB Bridge Ultra. Press next. The bridge will now discover your SWV and pair it. Once paired, press next. The bridge will remain in pairing mode, so if you don't have any additional devices to pair, you need to exit this. And you're done. You'll see your SWV shown on your dashboard with a status of off. The SWV will show up with an icon of a pump with a single toggle switch for the valve. Selecting the SWV brings up a dashboard. Here you can see the last time the irrigation was started and ended. Then the forecast for today, tomorrow and after tomorrow for what seems to be five days and with a weather icon and temperatures. Below this is a record of the duration that the irrigation ran for and how much water was dispensed in the last irrigation. Then we have a switch that allows you to set the SWV to either providing irrigation for a duration or using the irrigation flow meter to provide the amount of water. I did test the measurement and although not super accurate, it dispensed within 10% of the stated quantity. The water quantity can be specified by a range of 1 to 6,500 litres of water. Then you can set the frequency of the irrigation as a single irrigation that runs when activated or a cycle irrigation that can be set based on hours from 1 to 100 with an interval set at a time duration. As the SWV is a Zigbee device, it can be paired directly with Home Assistant. Navigate to Settings, Devices and Services. Press the blue Add Integration in the bottom right hand corner. Select Add Zigbee Device. On the device, make sure that the batteries are loaded and the device is powered on. Now let's see what entities are exposed and why we don't recommend that you use ZHA to bring your SWV into Home Assistant. Navigate to Settings, Devices and Services. Search for ZHA, select Devices. Search for and select SWV. The only entity exposed is the switch to activate your SWV. No scheduling or flow meter functionality is exposed. It's unclear at this time if this functionality will be added. As such, ZHA is not the preferred option for integrating SWV into Home Assistant. As Zigbee to MQTT doesn't come pre-installed, you'll need to install it before using. Watch the video in the pop-up above to install in a matter of minutes. Navigate to Zigbee to MQTT in the left-hand menu. Select Permit to Join in the top menu. Now insert the batteries into your SWV and put into pairing mode by pressing the button on the front for 5 seconds or until the green LED around the outside of the button illuminates. Your SWV will be discovered and paired. Now let's look at the information that's exposed. Select your SWV, which will have a system generated name that you should change as required. In the About section, you can see that this is an endpoint device and as such does not act as a router. By pressing the SWV against the model, will bring up all the stored information on the Zigbee to MQT database. This explains the entities that are exposed. Now press Exposes in the top menu of the device. You can see the current flow rate of water through the device. Also the battery level, which usually doesn't populate for several hours, but check later and you'll see the correct value. You have the valve switch, as you have on the ZHA, which is used to activate the SWV. Then you have a current device status, which has values of normal state, water shortage or water leakage. Then you can set the cycle timed irrigation values and the cycle quantitative irrigation. So the Zigbee to MQTT has full control of your SWV as you would in the EWI Link application. So the Sonoff Zigbee Smart Water Valve, what do I think? Well, true to form, Sonoff Engineering is excellent. This is a well-built device that is designed to last and be very functional. Offering a practical approach to batteries, a size is not much of a concern, but longevity and ease of replacement is. Yes, they could have offered solar recharging, at least one manufacturer has, 
but this pushes the cost up and the complexity. Instead, Sonifer made a decision to invest their R&D into making a tried and tested solution that is relatively cheap, robust, and feature rich. At $29 American, this is great value. Links in the description. Using the Zigbee network makes this super reliable with many options for connectivity through their Sonoth bridge or through Zigbee to MQTT. But remember to steer away from ZHA, unless that's your only current protocol. The inclusion of the flow meter is a great feature and one that I've been using regularly. Scheduling with duration is good, but providing a specified amount of water takes watering your garden to the next level. So should you buy it, consider it or skip it? Considering the cost, features and robust engineering, this is a solid recommendation. My beehive just got passed to my neighbours after several years of service, but I'm super happy with the upgrade. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, then hit that like button, comment and share. And if you want to have access to similar material, then subscribe and maybe become a channel member and get early access to material plus other perks. And if I've helped you make a purchasing decision, then maybe a super thanks or a PayPal donation. It's really appreciated. Until the next one.